Hey everybody, welcome to Boxcaster. I'm your host, Jason Abelson. It is Friday. It can only mean one thing. Bold prediction time. We've got five fights we're going to look at. We'll start things off in Long Island, New York, and Eddie Hearn's first go-around at Matchroom USA on HBO. We'll start things off with the heavyweights. A big fight for Jarrell. Big Baby Miller going up against Marius Vach. These are two big men in the ring. Miller actually scaled down from the 298. He last fought out when he fought Gerald Washington. He's now down to 283 and a half, whereas Vach coming in at 268. A lot of beef in that ring. Well, where the beef? Where's the beef? Long Island, the beef. Anyway, I got this one going the distance. Why? The two big guys. Vach is a very durable guy. The only time he was stopped, and he faced a lot of good guys who went the distance with Vladimir Klitschko, for crying out loud. The only time he was stopped in the 12th against Povetkin, and that was because of a cut not because he was stopped traditionally. So I like this one going the distance. Having said that, I like Miller. I like the youth. I like the fact he's he's more compact. I think he'll get on the inside of Vok. I think he'll do some good damage there. Maybe not enough to stop the fight. If he did, that'd be quite the feather in his cap. But I think it goes the distance. And I like Jarrell. Big baby Miller via unanimous decision. And we'll stick around Nassau, Long Island. And the main event for Saturday night's card featuring middleweight Danny Jacobs making his first fight under the Matchroom USA banner. He will be taking on Luis Arias out of Chicago. This one, I think, is a pretty much a no-brainer. I think you've got two tiers of fighters meeting up. Yes, Arias is undefeated, but he's nowhere near as dynamic as Jacobs. I like Jacobs' speed. I like Jacobs' power. I like his movement. Arias is rugged, but his hands are slow. His feet are comparatively slow. I think this is Danny Jacobs in a Danny Jacobs show with around a seventh-round stoppage for the big man from Brooklyn. We're gonna keep things stateside. We're gonna go down to California. It is Arthur Bitterbeev, a guy we've talked about ad nauseum here at Boxcaster. You know why? He's so bloody scary. Anyway, the light heavyweight from Chechnya, trying to go 12-0 with 12 knockouts. If he does, he'll become the new IBF light heavyweight champion. All he has to do is get past German Enrico Kolding. Kolding more of a slick guy in the ring, but slick enough to stave off this maniac and better be of i don't think so arthur better be of will slaughter poor enrico Kolig and win that ibf light heavyweight title with a fourth round stoppage next we cross the pond fascinating matchup between two guys maybe going in opposite directions but you've got a young up-and-comer against an established ex-champion in josh taylor fresh off his upset of ahara davies taking on former IBF lightweight champion of the world, Miguel Vasquez. This is a really interesting fight. Style-wise, you know what? Despite the fact that Vasquez is such a, a weathered veteran in the ring, he knows every angle, his style is so much like O'Hara Davies, you tend to think Josh Taylor is going to be really used to having a guy coming in low from different angles, just the way Davies is. I think it's going to suit him to a T. I like Taylor in a decision in a fight that should really continue his rise up the world scene in the lightweight division. And we'll end things off with the main event from Newcastle, England. It is a rematch for one of the fights of the year so far. Liam Smith going up against Liam Williams earlier this year. It was a controversial slugfest that ended after eight, after Williams could not continue because of a cut. The controversy was, was it a punch or a butt that caused it? Both landed really regularly at the behest of Smith, who leaned in with his head a lot and threw a lot of punishing shots. Both guys did. They threw and landed. Both guys bled all over the place like stuck pigs. It was entertainment par excellence. When it comes to in-ring brutality, expect more of the same Saturday night. You know, people are wondering, you're going to see the exact same fight. Is it going to be different? These guys showed exactly what they have. There's no hiding anything with their styles. There's no plan A, plan B, plan C. They're good, terrific, aggressive fighters, but that's what they do best. They don't really try to change things up. You know what? Williams was doing really well by the time that fight was stopped. I know he bled a lot, but he was up on the cards. I think he's going to press that edge, maybe land a little bit more than Liam Smith. I like Williams by a decision in another thriller Saturday night. So what do you guys think? Am I on point or on track? Please leave your comments in the comments section. Also, let us know what you think is going to happen as well. We'd love to hear it. If you haven't already subscribed to the best source of news, information, predictions, wisecracks, everything when it comes to the sweet science, 
What are you waiting for? Get on board and subscribe right here to Boxcaster. Are you looking at my mustache thinking, Abelson, what's the deal here? Do you lose a bet? No, I'm trying to raise money for men's health issues. It's Movember, so we're growing stashes here to raise money specifically for prostate cancer, but it goes to other causes as well. So if you're not growing your own and collecting your own money, please log on and donate to us here in our cause. Enjoy the fights, everybody. Thank you.